We looked at the veteran artists last week on the show, but this time around, we'll beam our searchlight on the youth. There have been many programs to encourage young creatives, and another one has come to town. It's called the Young Contemporaries, a platform to identify artistic hands and give them the right tools to succeed. We'll learn more about this initiative on this week's edition of At House. Great to have you join us. I'm Melinda Akinlami. I'm seeing loads of pictures on Facebook. Well done, everyone. But what's happening to our followers on Twitter and Instagram? You can also be part of it. So play catch up and let's see what you have to show. I'm so looking forward to it. Let's take our arty quote and we'll be right back. I work towards the liberation of women, but I am not feminist. I am just a woman. Our arty ride begins in Relay Gallery in Lagos, where five contemporary artists cooked up something just for your viewing pleasure. Let's see what they have to show. They are young as they are talented and they are here to show skill and technique highlighted as one to watch out for at the Young Contemporaries taking place at Rilly Gallery in Lagos. An artistic initiative that identifies, promotes and mentors visual artists, giving them the tools to succeed critically and commercially in the global art marketplace. Looking at my work, uh, the use of automobile is new, it is original, I think it is, it is my idea, I came up with the idea and the use of colors and everything, they are, so, they are so original, so I think there is nothing as good as being original and that actually makes me unique. The themes in this year's works include feminism, culture, self-identity, racial boundaries and duality of human nature. Fauvism was a movement in France, um, a French movement, and it was about the wild use of colours. They were actually sarcastically called Fauvist because they use colours widely. And um, that is seen in my paintings because if you look at my paintings, you find that I expressively use colours. You see the yellows, the blues, the reds, and the fovies are used to using them colors emotionally, uh, based on the um, the mood, based on the environment, the atmosphere. If it's a sunny day, they prefer to use yellow and blues, um, which is expressive in my is expressed in my works. The resulting exhibition is an indication of a younger generation contributing their artistic voice to societal issues. This world can be a better place if we all show more love to each other, if we stop being selfish and become selfless, if we don't pass by people and ignore them because we feel that there's nothing that they can do for us. It doesn't have to be, there doesn't have to be something you need for you every time you come across people. Sometimes you should just give for the sake of giving. And they come from different backgrounds. Okay, so I'm Rowa is a self-taught artist. Her Traveller series is a triptych representation of moving through different boundaries. I created a body of work called The Travellers and it encompasses Lagos, London and Johannesburg. So these are the cities that I've lived in and the images are self-expressions of my sentiments towards each city. So London um, has got a bit more attitude um, because I would interact with a lot of people I didn't feel like interacting with, I didn't feel like I could be my true self. Um, Johannesburg, I was a bit miserable there and you can see that in the colours and the expressions. And then Lagos, where I am now, is my happy city. So it's a lot more optimistic, the colours are warmer, um, the women are just a bit happier, um, even though they aren't smiling, but they are. 
commits to paper all the things it means to be an urban nomad, disconnected from your starting destination, but not quite at home in a new location. While Ezekiel, a painter, explores how man is affected by his society using colors and adaptation for them and naturalism movement. It's all about um, the things that play in the minds of um, the teens, those who are um, attaining maturity from the age of 18. Um, they feel that they are mature to make decisions, to take decisions, to do things. And most times you find out that they tend to um, want to stay independent. They tend to want to get separated from, from their home. They, they begin to reject advice and all that because they feel that their time, they have to live, they have to live their life to the fullest. However, most times you find out that they still need um, tutelage, and, um, which is a fiction that is being displayed in their lives because they feel that um, at this stage, they are free, and um, which they need. They need to be. They need to be tutored. They need to be curbed. They need to realize that they need um, advice from those who are ahead of them. Marcelina is fascinated by women and is doing all she can to play up issues that will make the world a better place for generations. We influence the life of children. The society influences how a child is raised and how that child, be, who that child comes out to be. So I am of the opinion that we all affect the life of a child. And so, so that's why I go to tailors to get different varieties. So you know you yeah, are also involved in this grooming, this process of raising the younger generation. 